down there. Okay, North. Hey, shut up. Listen to me. I'm the boss up here. You have to obey what I tell you to do. I'm the boss. I'm the boss. Their door open, so I went in and I started to. 
dropped all the toys in the wrong place so I quickly gathered them and put them in my wagon. It was rather high and awkward, but I brought them home and I began to have me a merry little Christmas. Wow, a Rolex watch. And what is this thing that vibrates? Delicious rich man's candy. So they did. And out came a big white brick. It kind of looked like a big cube of sugar. These cops looked really happy on their face. And they said they wouldn't take me away if they could have the big cube of sugar. I said, sure, Mr. Policeman. Go ahead and take the big cube of sugar. It's okay. I'm a kid. I don't need that much sugar anyway. And these guys got really, really happy as they took my big cube of sugar away. And they kept touching their nose like they couldn't feel it or something. I didn't understand. You know, I was only like six, you know. And but these cops were real happy. So I went back to Toys to open. Boy, this stuff really turned me on. I've never seen this much stuff in my life. Oh boy, what a happy boy I was. Oh, what a happy boy I was. To have all this stuff. And then I remembered that, you know, my neighbors didn't get anything. My Santa suit on Went next door and knocked on the door And I asked him if I could come in When they saw me, they said It's a miracle, Santa boy is here So Santa boy goes into their house And everyone smiles And begins to open all the remaining presents I'd made their day. So me and the kids kept on playing with all the toys. And these adults started acting really funny, laughing off their faces and just, you know, it was kind of annoying. They were just getting, they were buzzed, yeah. They were buzzed on Christmas morning. But back then I didn't get buzzed, so I really didn't get the meeting. But everyone was buzzed. But I was buzzed too because I was sharing my good fortune with all of you. My good fortune. But then I thought how those people at that house where I found all these presents and I took them all with me. I saw them out in the store, and they were just buying more, with little plastic things in their hands, and I really didn't understand. He was buying a brand new Rolex watch, as he handed the plastic over to me, the cashier, and he said, I'd like that. Knocking on doors, and I got all.
said, no, that's not what you do with that car. I said, here, let me show you. So I went to the cashier, and I said, I'd like one of those, and those, and two of those, dear, please. And my friend would like this, and we would like that. And here you go, American Express. Yeah. starts feeling bad because he knows all the other neighbors in the neighborhood don't have any toys either. So he goes and brings the toys over to their house. And then he finds another brick of cocaine, twice the size, and the kids parents get so stoned out of their minds they're just, you know, way out of where. And he takes the kids um, out with their toys and um, they um, have a blast. And that's what it's all about, having a Merry Christmas. And he sees that guy, at Mark and Nemus, you know, he goes back to check on those people that he stole all the toys from because he felt bad. And then he sees these people in these stores buying things with a plastic card. And he goes, I don't understand. You know, how can they do this? And they're just in there saying, I want this and I want that. And they're getting everything they want. And then on the way out, this rich guy drops his wallet. And the kid runs over and he grabs the wallet. And he's going to give it back to the man. But he says... I don't know. So then he goes and he gets those other people that didn't, didn't get a Christmas and they go and they do the same thing they witnessed this guy did. So all the kids go into the, the uh, you know, highfalutin jewelry places and they say, we want one of these, we want one of those and they get everything they want. They load it in their wagon, they go on and then they stop by the Mercedes-Benz store because they realize this guy's so rich he doesn't have a limit on his American Express card. So he can buy, they can buy anything they want and they go and buy anything and everything they want and uh, even get a chauffeur out of the deal and then they drive off into the sunset having a Merry Christmas and that's how the song is. It's a great video. I don't know if you've ever seen it but you know, it's, it's, a, 
pretty good little video. Something different. Out of nowhere to somewhere. Who knows? Who knows where the music comes from?